morning greeting in them. My name is Nosho Wani Binti Bajra with the Momitrix 67241. I will explain about the uh, I will explain about the SDS Avila Scan web application. Okay. There are four things will be present by us. Terminate member, introduction, architecture, and high level design. I will explain about the Charming the team member first. Our team consists of six members, which is Muhammad Azhar bin Azahidi, Sharfa Nuraini Wafa bin Dewan Abdunadi, Nushawani bin Tipujaya, me, and Sarah Elena bin Tizamizan, Muhammad Izan Fahmi bin Badrusan, and lastly, Sheikh Muhammad Ashraf bin Wan Hashim. Next, I will be introduction about the SDS. The purpose of this SDS is to present the product plan for Abela scan web application, provide the high level overview of the architecture and low level structure for our web application, design of the overall web application, which will be functionally imperative and the interactive of the framework. This picture is about system architecture of Abela scan web application. For a system overview, our system will be accessible to customer via device such as laptop, computer, or even their mobile phone if there is a usable web browser and stable internet connection. There's this system or web application which contains numerous products by Abela scan whereby they can choose from their catalog. Place in order, input the personal information for the necessary link, information, select delivery option, offer it and process to the requirement payment using the supported online payment gateway such as online banking, APX, the and the administration can use the system in a way to manage product, view order, and view payment as well to check whether the customer has proceeded to pay with their order. <coughs> Next, we will be presented about definition ac acronyms and abbreviations. For the definition for selling team, it was a comprise of agent, top sheet, agent, and stockist. Top sheet is the people who act as our client marketing, promote and sell their product on their behalf, but do not keep any stock. And stockist is a retailer who keeps stocks of our client product. <coughs> <coughs> Next is acronyms and abbreviation. We will use CSS, HTML, IE, PHP, SRS, UI, and some. And this is the end of interaction. Next is the architecture. Our our archite architecture consists of three layer, which is interface layer, application layer, data access layer. Uh, the first layer will access the bus to user via a browser and consists of user interface com component for the data access layer. The logic and ruler for data storage in the data access layer will be related to application layer. Application layer is related to both interface layer and data access layer related in your UI process component that support interaction with the application for the data access layer it related to the data access layer based on the user input and how they interact with it. Next is the high level component diagram of Abilas web application. There are consists of 10 components which is customer, staff, administration, main page, order, payment, report summary, dashboard, login, and lockout. This uh, component is this uh, 10 component for the customer will be represent the graphical interface for the customer use. The user can search the menu, pick an order, find information on the coming page of the coming and make payment when they want to purchase an order. For the staff, there are a few things that may differ from what the basic user you see. If an agent wants to restock a product, they can buy the product with cheaper price and they will buy them in a box. And for the administration, it will uh, provide a graphical graphical interface of an administration which they can control how the business run and how the application work. And for the, gra the framework of a geographical user interface that allow the administration to monitor the cell view current order and view dashboard. For main page, this will be designed to allow user and customer to navigate to the main menu, view product, to view the company, contact, and even to make payment. A well-designed main page will also attract customer where it will be much easier for them to navigate through the web application. Next is the order. Allow, order will allow the customer to place the request product in the shopping cart. For the report summary, it, it will ensure and mean to display the order have been met the number of user log login cells by that and even the performance of the staff. Administration can generate a report based on any data which they want to view in database, the sales data and the customer account are collected and the program must modify data to form the appropriate information. <coughs> Sorry. Payment is allowed the staff and the customer to 
uh, make a transaction for the login. This will allow customers, staff, and administration to log in into the application. Next is the logout dashboard and Avila DB. Logout the log of the load the web application user to terminate the decision by logging out the application. The for the dashboard only accessible by the administration. Avila DB will DB will uh, a database which hold and uh, store all the metadata needs and required for the system to function well. Assalamualaikum, madam. My name is Sharifah Noor Ani Wafal Bintul Amandi and my metric number is 67655. I will present high-level design. First is for customer part. Figure 1 show customer state chart, overall view of Abila Sense Web Application System using state chart diagram through the customer entity. On the event of a user is able to enter the Abila Sense website, there are few events that can be triggered. First, the user can browse through the menu and view the product sold. The user can add the product to the shopping chart if they wish to purchase it. Second, the user can view or update the shopping chart if a product is already in the shopping chart. The user can review product, remove product, or add a different product in the shopping chart. Third, if the user decides to purchase the product, the user can proceed to the checkout event. When the event of the user is ready to check out the shopping chart, the user will be required to fill in their billing detail and payment detail to proceed to the payment. If the payment is accepted by the administrator, the system will automatically issue an invoice and email notification for the order. The user print the order invoice, the product is considered purchased, then the shopping chart is reset. The user is able to leave the website within any event except during payment. Next, figure 2 shows all the state chart model component. First, the customer can browse through the catalog and view a particular item. Second, the customer can add new item and update new quantity from the chart. Third, the customer can delete item from the chart. Fourth, the customer can proceed to the payment. Figure 3 show check out the chart model component. First, the customer need to fill the checkout form which consists of their billing detail and payment information. Second, customer can proceed to the payment. Third, the website will display payment invoice to customer. Fourth, customer can print invoice. Next, I will present high-level design for admit. Figure 4 shows state chart overall view of Abela Sense Web Application System using state chart diagram through the administrator link. If the administrator has successfully landed on the Abela Sense Web Application admin tab before moving to the admin dashboard, the administrator must log in first for verification. The admin will be guided to the dashboard page after signing in successfully. Little event can be triggered. The administrator can view sales report by weeks, month, or year. Second, the administrator can manage order by viewing the customer order. Third, the administrator can manage the team by viewing team details. Fourth, the administrator can manage basic company info that appear in the customer site website using CIUD operation. Using CIUD operation, the administrator may handle items that appear on the customer site website. Any change made will be saved to the database and changed to the dashboard page for activities that use CIUD operation. The device will successfully be terminated if the user sign out from the admin list. Figure 5 shows sales report state chart model component. The administrator can view weekly, monthly, yearly sales data. Figure 6 shows order state chart model component. The administrator can view order history. Figure 7 shows team state chart model component. The administrator can view detailed team information such as their name and their role, for example, stockist or agent. Figure 8 shows company info state chart model component. Customer will search Abela Sense item in the event of a customer landing successfully on the Abela Sense website. Little event can be triggered. The customer can browse the company info. If the administrator has successfully landed on the website of Abela Sense, the administrator will handle the item of Abela Sense. Little event can be triggered. First, the administrator can add a new company info. Second, the administrator can edit from existing company info. Third, the administrator can delete existing company info. Figure 9 shows product state chart model component. Customer will search Abela Sense item in the event of consumer lending successfully on the Abela Sense website. Little event can be triggered. First, the customer can browse the product and view a particular product. If the administrator has successfully landed on the website of Abela Sense, the administrator will handle the item of Abela Sense. First, the administrator can add a new product. Second, the administrator can edit from existing product information. Third, the administrator can delete existing product. That's all for STS presentations. Next, we will move to the Abela Sense Web Application presentation. Greetings, madam. My name is Mohamed Azhar bin Zaidi with matrix number 6486. This is Abela Sense Web Application. It, has ma it mainly has five tabs, which is the home page, the product page, the contact page, the login, and the cart. It also has a search function to aid uh, the customers. For my part, I will be presenting the home page, the product page, and the contact page. Let's say that uh, I am a customer who wants to purchase their product. It will welcome me with a sales countdown notification 
and the characteristics of the products. There's the latest products on the sales section. It's pretty self-explanatory. It shows the latest products that are on sale by Abelasense. There is also an About Us page which shows uh, the brief history of Abelasense. This is the latest, best-selling, and top-rated section of the product. For this particular section, it will be uh, on most of the page that is available here. If I want to view the product, I can click on the product tab. It has six different sections to aid the customers. The browse section will filter item by categories. The filter by price section helps users to filter item by price. The recently view uh, will help customers if they accidentally uh, exited the page. The items can be sorted uh, by popularity, uh, average rating, latest, uh, low to high, or high to low. It will sh it will show uh, the desired the desired categories uh, filters uh, in the product list here. Let's say uh, I want to buy an item uh, as uh, Esther here, for example, I can choose the quantity that I want uh, by clicking this. Uh, and if I want to add to cart, I just click Add to cart if I'm uh, finished. Uh, there will be a notification that will notify uh, that the item is added to your cart. If I want to write a review on the product, I can fill in the details uh, along with the review. I can also see if there are any reviews available. In the contact tab, it shows the location of Abelasense headquarters, and if anyone wishes to have any queries regarding Abelasense or their product, they can uh, directly send an email uh, to Abelasense management. They, are, they, are, uh, they also show uh, the opening time for Abelasense. Good morning to Madam Fauza. My name is Said Mamad Ashraf with my metric number 65245 and I am from the group Charmander. I will be presenting the My Account, the Checkout and also the Shopping Cart for the customer side. So let us start with My Account. Basically, when you enter the My Account dashboard, you will see 8 clickable icons which is Home, Product, Contact, Order, Downloads, Addresses, Account Details and Wishlist. So I will explain the first three, which is Home, Product, and Contact. Home, Product, and Contact is basically when you click on it, it will redirect you to their respective page. If you click on Home, it will redirect you to the Home page. If you click on Product, it will redirect you to the Product page. And if you click on Contact, it will redirect you to the Contact page in the company info. So about so for order, basically it shows the orders that the order that you have done. It will show the number of orders. The number of or the order ID, the date of when you did your order, the status of your order, the total of your order, and also the action. So for, for status, let me explain what is meant by on hold and processing. Basically, on hold is basically the, the customer is holding your order until you have done your payment for your product. While processing is basically when you have you have done your payment and most probably your order is already on your way to you. Next is address. Address is basically your billing address and shipping address. This page will be very, benefic very beneficial in the checkout page, whereby if you have updated in, in the address corner in the My Account, the, your billing address and shipping address will be auto-generated by the system itself. Next is account details. Account details is a page where it shows your first name, your last name, your display name. Note that this display name will be used in the account section and also in the review part in the case you were to leave a review. Next is the email address. This email address is the email address you, you need to enter the system as a customer. Next is the password change. Password change is in the case you don't like your password and you wish to change it, you, you do can you, you do are possible to change the password by entering the account details by entering your current password and entering your new password and also re-entering your new password to confirm it. Next is wishlist. In wishlist, basically it shows the products that you wish to buy. In the product page, in every corner of every product, you will see a small heart icon. By clicking on it, it will add it to your wishlist. In this page, it will show the product name, 
the unit of one product and also the stock status. In the case you were to purchase to purchase it, you can just add it to cart. Lastly is logout. Logout is basically just a, just a page whereby you can click to logout. Next, we move on to cart. So basically in cart, it shows what you have wanted if you want to buy, the cart total and also the coupon. So in this part, it will show what you have proposed to buy, which is, for instance, in this case, I will assess limited edition for women and also arithmetic. It would show the price of one, which is for Avila Sense Limited Edition for women is 35 ringgit, and also arithmetic, which is 35 ringgit. The quantity. In the case you were to buy two, you, you can add it, you can add as much as you can. So once you have selected, for instance, you want to buy three and you want to buy arithmetic two, you can update it, you can update it. So the subtotal. Ah, the subtotal will be auto counted for you whereby it will show in the tot in the card total which is 210. So about the coupon. The coupon is basically a coupon which helps both the agent of the of Abila Sense and, and also it's been very very beneficial to the customer. So for the customer it helps in decreasing the price of what you want to buy. For instance, let me enter the coupon card. If the agent has house number one. You apply, you apply the coupon. As you can see, it decreases the price, the total, by 10 ringgit 50 times. So basically, the, the coupon acts as a discount code for the client. Next, we move on to the checkout. As I, as I was saying before, in the case you have updated your address address in your My Account, it will be also generated. As you can see, the first name, the last name, the country, the street address, the town, the state, the postcode, the phone number, the email address has been also generated by the system. So, for additional information, this is basically an optional for people to, to enter. So, in the case you want to do something special for someone, for instance, if you want, if you want to buy something for your mom, for instance, if you want to put something into this, this will be like a note for your, for your mom to buy your food. This will be done by the company itself, the company itself, the rest of the company. Next, we move on to your order. Your order is basically an order of what you are, you are going to buy, which is, for instance, which is Abilasan Limited Edition for women in four, in four quantities. The total price of 140. Arithmetic is a quantity of two. The total price of 70 ringgit and the top total price of 10. Remember that we added a coupon here, whereby it helps in decreasing the price by 10 ringgit 50 cents, giving us a grand total of 199 ringgit 50 cents. So there are, there are two ways. There are two ways to there are two ways to do your payment, which are direct bank transfer and cash and delivery. So let me explain about direct bank transfer first. Direct bank transfer means you are to transfer um, a certain amount of money, for in this case, 100 into the account of the company, whereby using your order ID as a payment method. Note that the order will not be paid until the funds have been cleared into the account, into the company's account. Next is cash on delivery, whereby you don't have, uh, this basically means you do not have, you do not need to pay up front for the, for the product. You will only need to pay it once the product is hand delivered to you and or once the product has reached you. For, for this example, I will, I will use direct bank transfer. So when, when you have completed your, your purchase, it will state here the bank and the account number which, which you are to transfer the total amount of money as with as this for now, which was 199 And it also states the order details, whereby it gives the address. It shows what the product for, in this example, is a relative limited edition for women in quantity of four, a metric of two ringgit, and the top total, including the discount that has been done by the coupon, and also the note. Remember the note that you wrote just now. Next is the giving address. The giving address is basically the address of what, and the giving address of what uh, you have done, and a bill will be sent to this address. So that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Muhammad Izan Fani bin Badusam with the matrix number of 64952. I will be doing a demonstration on using the website's dashboard, which is the website administration page. It is typically the index page of the control panel for a website's contact manager. To gain access to the dashboard, first, admins will have to navigate to this link. Press enter, and you will be navigated to this login page. 
This page is only for the use of administrators since it requires the login details for an admin. Enter the admin details and press login. After the admin has successfully logged in into the dashboard, they will be presented with an other overview of the dashboard. On the far right, there will be various of icons that include many functionalities to manage how the website works and appears. First, we have overview of the dashboard, post, media, pages, UX blocks, contact, WooCommerce, products, analytics, marketing and lastly is users. I'm going to demonstrate them one by one. First is the post icon. When admin clicks on it, they get to see a list of posts or news that they can include on the website. They can also edit to a quick edit on the post or delete them. Adding a new post is also possible by clicking on the add new button. When clicking on the add new button, a blank canvas like this will appear as soon as they click on it. They can add anything like news or an update for an update for the website. So once finished, admins can click on the pub publish button to publish it. To go back on the previous page, admins have to click on this button and press click. So next is the media section. In this section, admins are able to upload any company's related images. Let's click on it. Click on it. Here you can see all of the images that has been uploaded for the website's use. To upload new image in the database, click on the add new button. Then admins can add any pictures into the database. Once you have finished, click on any images. Click on open and it will upload in this section. You can also view them one by one. So hence, you have the media function to add like pictures for the products, for the company's related pictures like this one. And then you go for the media section. The next function is the pages. So let's click on it. So here you can see this lets the admins, especially the developers, to add new pages to the website. Here you can see the list of pages contained in the website. You can see here, auto draft, blog, card, checkout, dashboard, demos. They can edit, view, or delete the pages. So, adding a new pages, click on the add new button. Here you can see the canvas is just the same as the post function just now. So you can add anything here. Add pictures, you can also edit it with the UX builder. So once finished, the developers can click on publish. And then it will upload into the database. So to go back to the dashboard, just click on this button and click leave. Moving on to the UX blocks section. This section is provided for the use of the developers. Uh, they can add elements, edit the filter, edit the header, and also add some few elements like navigation into the website. So, as I said, this is only for the use of developers for the website. This is the contact section. In this section, audience will, will be able to include their contact details and forms for the customer's use. For example, when you look into
In this session, admins will also be able to add custom orders for the customers. So, click on the Add Order button. Here you can see that there are a few details of the order that they can edit. So, let's say if a customer wants to buy with a customized order, hence admins can use this function to fulfill their needs manually within this form. So, here they can add items, add products. So for example, the aromatic product. Okay, add, and you can create this uh, order by clicking on the create button. Next, let's head to the customer tab. In this customer tab, admins can view a full list of customers, including their personal information such as name, username, email, how much have they spent on the website. Other than that, they can also view the last active for any customers in the website. They can, also, they can also download the report by clicking on this download button. Here you can see the answer has been downloaded. Here you can see the, the full details of the customer and the admins will can print the full details. They can also view a general report on the sales by clicking on this report button. Here you can see they can see the graph by means of the last 7 days, this month, last month, or even year. They can also click on any dates, you can see, January. So, they can also export it as CSV by clicking on this export CSV, it will download the report. So, here is the report. So that is for the WooCommerce section. The next section is the product section. Click on the product section and then admins and store managers can also manage the products for the company. Uh, product section will lead them to an overview of the listed products. Here you can see the list of products. The list of products are editable um, by just clicking on this edit button. So let's click on the edit button. So here you can change the name, the description. The price is here. You can edit the price. You can also put a different price for, let's say, for the agent, about 32 ringgit. And here they can remove the product image or even add a new image to the product. This is the product description. This is the price. Here, I mean, this is the regular price. And once they are done, you can click on this update button. This is how they edit the uh, product. Let's head back to the product list. Um, <coughs> to add new products to the list, uh, users must click on the add new button. So here they can put the product name, the pictures over here, set product image, the price, and the short description of the product. Once they are done, they can click on this publish button. So that is for my part. I will pass the presentation and demonstration to my next team member. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and greetings, madam. I'm Sarah Elena with the metric number 71486. So I will present, I will proceed with the part where my friend has left off. So as you can see, there's this bar chart icon here. I'll click on it and it will display the announcement. Or in other words, the overview of the sales that our client has made. So as you can see, the sales are presented in various forms, like this one, it's just in one line, it's just in single line, a figure, one figure. And then we have the chart, and also we have the leaderboard. So I will explain them one at a time. So we'll get to the top here, and we see that we have these buttons. So this button will allow the user to select the date range in which the user wants the information of the sales to be displayed. So for example, right now we are displaying the month to date and actually the user can also insert a custom date range. Okay, wait. And I'll show this is and this part here for the compare to meaning that the date range here will be uh, compared with the sales information sales from the previous year. Or you can also choose the previous period. But right now we will just choose previous year. 
So what, what we are doing now, we are just choosing the date range and also the comparison. And then we'll just click on update and it will display the information for that, de for that range. And yeah. So now we move over to the performance section. As you can see, when I hover on these boxes, they are clickable. So if I select any, click on any of these boxes, it will display more information on the categories, on the following categories. So if like, for, uh, like I click on this total sales, then the web app will display more information on the total sales. We have the chart and also the table. So here we have the chart, you can see that there are two lines in the chart, a blue line and a green line. The blue one referring to the selected date range and the green line refers to the, the, comparis uh, the, the year that you use for comparison, the period that you use for comparison. But as you can see, the green line is just a single flat line because there's no data to be entered yet. And then here we have a table in which uh, this table has a list of, uh, more a list of information regarding the sales, more specific details. So what we have here, this is the download button where when we click on it, we will convert the data in the table just, just now into a CSV file and you can download it. Okay, and then we have these three dots here. These, these three dots basically display the number of col the columns that are displayed in the table. So th they are all turned on. But if you want to hide any of the columns, for example, like this column taxes, I will just hide it, I'll just turn it off. Oops, I'll turn it off and it's hidden from the table. Now I turn it on, it's back. Okay, now we go back to the previous one. So see, as you can see, if I just click on the other boxes, it will display the similar, quite similar thing. Now we move on to the chart. So what you see here is a line chart, the net sales and order, and you can filter it by day or by week. And, oops, sorry, see it's basically displaying the same thing. So I can choose by day or by week, and now, okay, I'll just give it a demo, and by week. Now, what you see here is a line chart. So if you want to change it to a bar chart, all you have to do is click on this bar chart, and we have a bar chart. And these three dots here, again, these are the, uh, the charts that you would like to display and, or the charts that you would like to hide. And then now we have the leaderboard. So if I click on the three dots, the similar thing, similar way, there are things that you would like to display or just hide. And we have here, the, you can insert the number of rows that you would like to display in a table, and you can edit the section title, which I will not do that. Now, when I hover on these rows, I can click on any of these categories, and it will display me with more information for that category under this date range. And then, <coughs> and then we have this chart again. So we have this chart, but this time around we have three lines, which refers to the three items sold under this category. So as I hover on one of these items, you can see that the graph change, the line chart changes, and it will display according to the item. Okay. So if I just let it out, and then you can see that it's just dis displaying all three of the lines. And then down here is another table, just displaying more information on the items. And then we'll move over to the coupons. Okay. So uh, I, I believe my friend has mentioned that uh, the coupons will be used when the customer would like to purchase, so with a lower price. So as you can see, we have edit and trash. These are the actions that the admin can perform on the coupon. So for example, I'll just edit this. And then we have the current information regarding the coupon. So here, this one is the coupon code that, is, that has been manually inserted. So you can manually type it or generate a coupon code. And then this one is just the description of the coupon code. And you can always edit that. And then down here, we have a section to edit the data regarding the coupon. So for like the discount type, we have fixed type discount, percentage discount, or fixed product discount. And then the amount of coupon, and also uh, a checkbox if you'd like to allow free shipping, and the expiry date. So if you do not, if the user does not want to include an expiry date, then the user can just leave it blank. And then here we have the usage restriction, the minimum spend, maximum spend, and 
are their restrictions. And also we have the usage limit. Usage limit per coupon and usage limit per user. And then after all of that, the admin can always just update, perform any changes by clicking on the update button. Or if the admin wants to delete this coupon, then all he or he has to do is click on remove to trash. And it will remove the trash. And then, so done with that, we move over to users. So here we have a list of registered users of the web application. So we can perform various uh, actions, like edit, delete. So like I will just show you the delete first. If I click on this delete, then I will delete this user from the web application, meaning that the user will no longer be able to gain access to the web application, to the internal part of the web application. But I'm not going to do that. And then, I can just edit the information regarding the user. For example, the first name, last name, the username cannot be changed at all. And after all of that, after uh, doing some changes here, I'll just click on update the user button and the information will be updated. So, yeah. And lastly, uh, this is not, uh, yeah, this is the last one, the profile. So for the profile, it's basically the same thing, just, just like I have just shown, I've just demonstrated, it's basically the same thing. The difference is that you are, no, you are not editing someone else's information, you are edi editing your own information. So the admin is editing his or her profile. So uh, that's all for the website. I will end this demonstration with the lockout function. So here you can see that this uh, how the admin. I'll just click on that and click on lockout, and I am navigated back to the login page. So I guess that's all for me, and that's all from our group chairmember. Thank you, madam.